Muscles of facial expression let you show your mood, while muscles of mastication help you grind your food. Facial muscles come in groups, which we'll cover in a sec. Oral, orbital, nasal, auricular, forehead, and neck. The oral group or mouth muscles help you make expressions. The orbicularis saurus puckers for kissing sessions. This muscle is a sphincter, a circle maintaining constriction. One of two facial muscles that have this distinction. Other oral muscles divide into uppers and the lowers. In general, the upper group are happy expression showers. The lower group are more useful for sadness expression, such as annoyance, anger, concern, and even depression. The upper oral muscles we will now discuss. The upper lip is lifted by the levator labii superioris. Sagomaticus major minor, lift the corners when you smile. Orbicularis oculi give you crow's feet all the while. But when you fake a smile, eye muscles don't get engaged. Only the rhizorius does, making the smile look staged. The levator anguli oris, it moves mouth corners up. Levator labii superioris alequinazi, that's pretty crazy up. It elevates the upper lip, for example, when you sneer. Nicknamed the Elvis muscle, it trademarked his career. The lower oral muscles, there are three of these. Mentalis depressor, labia inferioris depressor, anguli oris. The mentalis is at the furrow, between your lip and chin. Nicknamed the pouting muscle, it shows displeasure within. The depressor, anguli oris, make mouth corners descend. When expressing displeasure, on these you do depend. Depressor labia inferioris also help you frown, for they help pull your lower lip side within down. Now for the orbital group, first orbicularis oculi, the sphincter circle eyelids to help you close each eye. The corrugator supercilia pulls your eyebrows medially. The depressor supercilia moves your eyebrows downwardly. On to the nasal group, the muscles around your nose. This group has three muscles, the nasalis, the largest of those. It's made of the transverse nasalis, and of the dilator nares, for squishing and flaring nostrils, also called your nares. Within the nasal group, the proserus is next. It causes the nose to wrinkle when your eyebrows downward flex. Depressor septi nasi assists the other part of the nasal eye. When you flare your nostrils wide on these muscles, you rely. The auricular muscles, Move the ear and number three. They are the anterior, posterior, superior, C. The forehead has the frontalis, which wrinkles the forehead. It lets you raise your eyebrows to show surprise or dread. The platysma has mandibular, nodular, and labial parts. And when you tense your neck, big wrinkles it imparts. The four muscles of mastication for jaw motions are employed. Temporalis masseter, medial and lateral, pterygoid. The temporalis closes the mouth and retracts the mandible. The masseter is the strongest, so bring it to the table. The masseter has two parts, superficial and also deep. Both help you lift the mandible to make you a mass eater. The medial pterygoid also helps you lift your mandible with a deep and superficial head, so your mouth is expandable. The lateral pterygoids, two heads take control. Align the temporal mandibular joint and open your pie hole. Finally, the buccinator, accessory muscle of mastication, pulls the cheek toward the teeth to push food from this location. 